they're the same color. They look the same. Why do I have three lipsticks of the same color? And the naked was the same thing too. Welcome, welcome. I'm Sophia from Lips with Janky Forever, and today's video is going to be an update on my project pan. This is a huge project pan for me. It is also my first project pan ever. So I'm very excited. I am making quite a lot of progress, and I'm going to be talking about the products that I used up first, then the uh, products that I've made progress on, and then finally I'm going to bring in even more products because I don't have enough products to begin with. As I thought, I used up the Hourglass Mineral Primer. I like this stuff. It had a ton of dimethicone, in my opinion. It, it was lovely on the skin, didn't really do much more more than just slight blurring. I think I used to love it more when I was younger. This was basically used only a single time before I brought this into the project at the beginning of December. So uh, I was able to finish this actually a lot faster than you'd think. I think I finished this more than a month and a half ago. Um, I finished it about two weeks after my last update, which I'll link below. Another product I thought I would finish, and I did, is the Urban Decay Stay Naked Hydromaniac Tint. Uh, yeah, I think it's a tinted glow hydrator. I had this in the shade 20 Fair, and I really liked it. I loved it. I used it qu quite a lot. I mean, I finished it. This was basically uh, right under that number 20 when I started, and it's gone. If you can see, I know it looks like there might be some product here, but there isn't. If you can see, there's like just some windowing down there. There's nothing left in here. It was lovely. I enjoyed it. Moving on, I also finished the Merit Shade Slick, I think, Shade Slick Tinted Lip Oil in Pink Beat. You know, I get half the name and then I forget everything else. I completely finished this. This is a beautiful product. I did have to take the stopper out. I love this shade. I don't know if I can, if I have enough to swatch. I don't even have enough to swatch anymore. This was a lovely shade. I do want to get another one of these. I had the option of picking this up during the Sephora savings event, uh, but I decided not to solely because I was spending a lot of money already. And then also because I have a ton of lip glosses and lip products that I bought recently. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this for the fall. I do love this in the fall and winter, but this baby will be back in my life. The only thing that I was hate panning only because of the smell not because of the performance is this IGK first class charcoal detox dry shampoo and I panned it I mean it's completely empty like there's nothing left in there problem is I do have a completely brand new one in my account in my collection well it's not brand new anymore because I used it a couple of times and thankfully after using this multiple times because I think it was obviously you can't see through it but then by shaking it I knew that it was like around the around this area right here after using this and not forcing myself to use it if i didn't want it i find that i don't absolutely hate the smell of the other one anymore maybe because it's so efficacious i mean the way this works the smell a little bit difficult for me to deal with but if i put it in and then go outside instead of like go immediately to sleep i'm fine i just need that to air out Another item I used up is this little tiny Bobbi Brown eyeliner. I mean, let me show you how small that nubbin is right now. It, that's what it is. It's a nubbin now. <laughs> um, I think this was about yay big, but or maybe this this big, but I finished it. It's it's done, and I'm glad that it's done because while this used to be a great product that was really soft and emollient almost. Uh, as far as a, an eyeliner can be emollient, that was no longer true. This was kind of difficult to use, but I'm so glad to be done with it. This was just a regular black eyeliner. Another product I used up or met my goal on, whichever you want to call it, is this Urban Decay Vice Lipstick in Naked. I am saying that it's either used up or goal met because my goal was solely to reach that plastic point, which I did, but then I dug into it, not for the purpose of using it on my lips, though I am using it on my lips today, and I'll explain to you in a second why, but for the purpose of using it as a blush. While I was on my road trip, I couldn't figure out where my blush went. Uh, it was under the seat, just so you know. <laughs> it was under my seat, I couldn't find it, so I needed blush, and what I did is I took the, the lipstick, there was a little bit left, uh, and I put it on the back of my hand and I used it as a blush and I thought it was beautiful that way. So what I did is once I re met my goal on that, which was to use it up until I could no longer use it, I dug into it and put it in this compact for the purpose of using it as a blush. And the reason you see this beautiful clean line around it today is because uh, I like used it today in order to uh, try and um, test again whether I am the kind of person who would work really um 
who can dig up product out like lip product out and then use it as, as lip product i am not however look how beautiful that is as a blush so i will be using this up as a blush and i don't think that any of the other formulas that i have would lend themselves quite so well to you being used as a blush because this was particularly emollient but that's all i have left i only have about a week's product left so for me this is a goal met another goal i met is actually on the makeup by mario surreal skin foundation uh, my goal was to get to this point right here because i started somewhere around here not only did i meet that goal because you can see the windowing here but you can see the windowing here as well which is further down but if you move on over to this side there's even further windowing down there it's like right on right between the uh a and the r in mario i love this foundation i think it's a beautiful foundation i'm wearing it today this is in the shade 2n I think it's stunning. I know that there are, there are people who don't enjoy it because there is like some form of shimmer in there. Yes, it gives me a glow. I personally really love it and I will be rolling this out because I don't actually want to use this up completely. I do want to have it for the first few months of, uh, of, of winter. Continuing with Mario as a theme, the next item is actually the ABH Master Palette by Mario. My intention is never to use this palette up completely and I haven't, just so you know, this is a very this would that would be a miracle uh but i have used it at quite a significant amount to a point where you can actually see that i've hit pan on bronx i am wearing this palette today i'm wearing uh marina and muse and bronx as an eyeliner i actually uh mix that with um what is this this uh, maron mixing liquid to make an eyeliner love using it like that however i'm really tired of this palette i'm tired of it to a degree where i want to take it out of this project right now i know that that sounds like i'm giving up but i'm not i'm probably going to be bringing this back into this project towards the end of the year but i just i'm not going to be using it we're approaching may and i have zero intention of using these shades these are too deep for me even in the winter when those are like the shades that i would be leaning for towards i will keep it around just in case i want to reach into it for any specific shades but this baby's out and let's move into the progress. The first item I want to talk about is the Spenta Beauty Matchstick in the shade Amber. I don't have a lot left. Well, no, I actually have a ton left, but I actually use a significant amount. This is in the shade Amber. And I think at this point I have about half of what I originally had, which was impressive because what I originally started out with uh, at the beginning of this project was literally, I think it had literally been used like three times maximum. And then it was in, in, in my collection for like ever. I'm going to um, see if I can show you a little bit of what that looks like. I just it's it's very cool toned. So I got to be really careful with it. So last time uh, it was flush against the uh, the the plastic. And now you can see inside. So fingers crossed next time you'll be able to see in a little bit further. And then after that, it'll be done. I don't hate it, but I just don't love contouring. This does come in clutch when i do want a more snatched face i, I don't know what i'm using what, what words i'm using but it does it does help when i need to like contour but it isn't my absolute favorite so i'm glad to be using it getting to understand whether this is a product i actually want to incorporate into my daily life or you know moving forward which is not and since we were just talking about contour, I'm going to continue with the contour. And the next product is the Kevin Aquan Little Contour Duo. This was their mini contour duo in, the, duo in the shade Sculpting Powder Medium and Celestial Powder Candlelight. And when I say that it's a mini, I mean that it's a mini. Look how small that is. These are like eyeshadow sizes, which makes it a little bit more difficult when I want to pick up product. I will tell you now, I think I used the powder like a single time in the last two, two months. And I've used the highlighter significantly more. So I've updated my goal on this. My goal on this is this. I'm going to make an effort to use this during the summer because this is a powder. So it's going to be a little bit easier to use in the summer, especially because the contour shade is in the shade medium. I'm going to try to use this in the summer. I'm going to try to use the highlighter. It is lovely. But at the end of the year, at the end of this project, when I finish, when I fill, fill my finale, I'm going to be getting rid of it. I don't think that this is a product for me. I don't enjoy it. I'm going to get my usage out of it. I think it was $25. 
I'll make my, my attempt and then say sayonara. I'm gonna continue with the powder product and the next item I wanna talk about is this uh, Viseart little uh, Theory palette that I have. I will tell you now, in the last two months, I've used it like two times. <laughs> You, there's no difference in in this palette, uh, none. However, I will be keeping this palette in, uh, unlike the other one that I was talking about, mainly because of the shimmers. I'm not loving their mattes anymore because I think, as I said in my last video, this palette is definitely getting too old. Um, the mattes are just not performing the way I know Viseart mattes generally do. I mean, it looks nice, but it's a little bit more powdery and definitely a little bit harder to blend out. However, this little this shadow right here is like an absolute stunner. I love copper in the summer, so I'm going to be using that in the summer. So I think I can use all of these shades, all of these shimmers in the summer. Let me see if I can swatch them. They're definitely not swatched in order, but they are absolutely stunning as you can see so I think this is going to be something that I can use in the summer a lot more um, I'm gonna keep this palette this one I'm keeping it's just that it's not performing the way it should anymore I'm gonna stick with the powder products and the next one I want to show you are these Guerlain meteorites I have been using this and I've been using it a ton I would say well a ton being a very relative term really but uh, it's so hard to show progress because well <laughs> It's impossible to show progress on these little balls. I mean, I guess some of them are splitting up. There's There are fewer of them. It's mostly just a single layer now, whereas there were a lot more before. But I don't think I'm going to finish this this year. However, I am getting good use on it. So we'll see where it goes. This might be something that I bring into my next year's project pan, or I might just put away because it is powder. So it should be fine. But still, I'm working on it. The next item I want to talk about is this Urban Decay Quick Fix uh, Primer, Hydro Charged Complexion Prep Priming Spray. Such a long name for basically a spray on primer. Uh, and when I started, it was basically new. I had used it just a single time to make sure that it was okay. And now I'm at the third way, third of the way point. I like to use this before I start my makeup on some days. And some days when my makeup is has been on the whole day, I will use this to just rehydrate my skin. And it's been working really well for that. I think that at the rate that I'm going with this, this is going to definitely take me either most of the year to finish, maybe two more um two more updates and i do these updates every two months so so maybe about like four more months or maybe it might even take all the way to the end of the year depending on how much hydration i need and how much of this i need but i'm making progress you know slogging through it it's it's a really nice primer um i just don't know the point of a liquid primer other than to rehydrate the skin not sure the next item I want to talk about is this Cover FX High Performance Setting Spray. When I brought this in, this was brand new. And this is one of those gigantic setting sprays because it's four ounces of product. Four ounces of product. Do you know how hard it is to get through four ounces of product? I know because I'm trying to do it. And the way I've had to do it, mainly because the sprayer on this is so bad, is by taking my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush uh, flawless setting spray with like this has like a really good sprayer on it and this was an empty bottle because I'd already used one of those up and it was in my empties so I'm like well might as well <laughs> um so I just I just took this and I de decanted it into the Charlotte Tilbury and I've already used up basically a full bottle's worth um I think it was somewhere around towards the bottom and then I refilled it the other day because I forgot that I was going to be filming this video today. So this has about half of the product in it. This has about one ounce of the product in it. So between these two, I have about three ounces of product still remaining and it takes me about two months to go through this. Granted, I was doing this through the winter months and I was not very um, oily in any way, shape or form. But nevertheless, I'm going to assume that this is going to take me the rest of the year to use up because if it takes me an ounce to use uh, if it takes me two months to use an ounce rather and we are in like let's say at the beginning of may by the time i put this up we're going to be at the end of november by the time i'm finished with this and that's basically the full the full year moving on to the lipsticks i want to update you on the chanel rouge allure velvet in 317 la Precieuse. and this is one of those that like you know you pop you pop out so i've used this a single time before it started smelling like crayons it 
It doesn't smell like crayons right now, but only because, <laughs> only because I had it in a bag with uh, my dabber bottle of replicas, um, one of the fragrances, oh, the fireplace one, by the fireplace. And that whole thing dumped onto basically this and a whole bunch of other stuff. So everything smells basically like by the fireplace. But I ha knowing that this smelled so bad uh, before, I don't know if I feel comfortable using it. I might try one more time to see if it irritates. You know what? It's not worth it. It's just lipstick. So I'm going to be getting rid of this lipstick. This is what it looks like. And I'm probably going to be bringing in a different lipstick. This is to tell you that do that you should not be precious with anything especially products like this these go bad yes i had this in my collection for a very long time but nevertheless i was being precious with it i didn't use it and now i'm the one who has to get rid of it after using it like one or two times like that's ridiculous i should not have had to do this these are very expensive lipsticks so i'm going to get rid of this i'm very sad about it and going forward i'm going to use the lipsticks that i buy as i buy them that's it and you should too that's it. We're not saving things anymore. I'm so upset right now because that was like a really beautiful shade. And I think it was like $40 at a time when I did not have $40 to spend on a lipstick. The next lipstick I want to talk about, sadly, I think is getting really close to going bad. And it is the Sophia Loren lipstick from Dolce & Gabbana. I bought this lipstick in 2017 when it launched. Um, I have used it. I've used it a lot more than I use the Chanel one. Thankfully, I think I used it about maybe a total of like 20 times or so. Um, it is a beautiful lipstick. I'm gonna swatch it and hope that you can see it. Um, it is actually moving. It's so soft that it's moving in its uh, in its uh, little socket. So that's what that looks like. It is a beautiful shade. I, I don't know if I can use this during springtime. I'll try my best to do it because this has not, yeah, this has not changed in smell yet. Right, right. It hasn't changed its smell yet, but it is very, very close. The next three lipsticks I want to talk about are all Pat McGrath. And actually, I think that's all the lipsticks remaining from like prior, uh, prior Roland's. And the first one is this, this one in the black packaging. And this is the Lux Trans lipstick in Sextrology. I don't think they make this formula anymore. Certainly not the shade. And I've used it like three or four times, <laughs> mainly because I was concentrating on the Urban Decay shade and i took that this is a lot pinker the other one at least had some nude in it this is just straight up pink um this would actually probably make a really good blush too but I, i'm gonna stop giving myself ideas because the amount of cream blushes that i have is actually insane and i don't need any more but this is a beautiful shade they don't make this anymore sadly not in like another formula even and um i love it i love this one i do want to try and use this up before the next uh the next update because there's so little left that i think i can do it the next one i want to talk about is this one right here it's one of these packagings and it is the uh blitz trance lipstick in lady stardust I, I don't even know how many times i use it i don't think i use it more than like once or twice it is definitely not my favorite formula i think that it's it's very sheeny and it's very sheer and it might be something that i'm uh that i enjoy over um a lip balm i mean i see some glitter particles in it and i think that's been my problem because it feels a little bit uh, grainy and gritty so but overall i think this is a beautiful shade so i'm gonna see if i can use it between now and the end of the year this is staying in i'm going to concentrate on the black packaging first and then i'm going to move on to lady stardust although i have another one from the same formula that i want to pan and that is this this is in the same same formula yeah blitz trance in skin sane and this is what that looks like it's a slightly deeper nude but again i think this also oh no this is a lot better this is a lot smoother of a formula so i think that this is going to be the next one i'm going to uh pan as in like i will actually reach the end of it because that's a beautiful formula all of these look the same i fully agree this is this all looks the same i'm basically trying to pan the same product and i still have more products that i'm trying to bring in to to this uh uh project pan so i'm going to try to finish these before the end of the year again i'm going to try to do this one next before the next update and then i'm going to work on these in equal time i guess between now and the rest of the year 
since I've been talking about lip products, I'm just going to continue with the lip products. And the next one I want to talk about is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Pillow Talk. There's like barely anything left of this, but I have such a hard time using this lip liner. I just don't like the formula. I just don't like it. Uh, it's a little bit harder than the formulas I generally like to use. So hopefully by the next update, this will be done. I think this literally has only like three or four more sharpens in it before it's gone. Fingers crossed. Next two lip liners are both the Kylie Jenner ones. And these are in the shade Coco K, which is this one. I have the most of this one left. And look, it's so old that the thing keeps coming out. Let's shove you back in. And I like this shade. I think it's a beautiful pinky based nude shade. I love it. I really do. This is actually really nice formula too. The other shade is Bare, B-A-R-E. And this is a little bit more of a, um, well, bare skin shade, I guess, for people of my skin tone, um, or maybe a little bit deeper. But both of these are beautiful. Both of these are actually kind of easy to use. Uh, I had to actually pause a little bit on using these because I was going through these so quickly and get back to using this because this was like just hanging out. So I'm going to prioritize this one and then I'm actually just going to work on these in in equal time, I guess. And hopefully by the next update, all three of these will be gone. That would be nice, right? Like all three gone and then I can move on to other lip liners, either bringing them in or just using them, enjoying them. Let's move on to eyeliners. And the only eyeliners I have left are this Marc Jacobs highliner in, what is the name? Out of the blue. And this is basically a blue eyeliner, a cobalt blue eyeliner. eyeliner. Let me swatch it while it's still good enough to actually swatch. I've been using this so much. I actually have about two thirds or half of what I had left before. That's all I have left of that. That's actually I have to probably have to show you like this. I'm going to quickly roll that down. I've been using a ton of this, but the problem is from time to time, again, just like the Bobbi Brown eyeliner, um, I'm going to just roll this down from just like the Bobbi Brown eyeliner, this will get a little bit dry on the outside and I'll have to make sure to go in with a sharpener and just sharpen it in order to use it. Thankfully, I don't have to do it every time, but like it will happen from time to time and then I can get to that fresh eyeliner and it's fine. The other eyeliner I have left is this Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Whiskey. I think I use this like less than 10 times. I, I, I think I sharpened this only like one time. This is a really beautiful shade, but it's a little bit more warm toned than I thought it was. So I am wearing it today, but it is on my waterline. It is, it goes very slowly. So this is going to be in for the rest of the year, which is fine for me. It's definitely fine. I just wanted to give you an update on that. It is still smooth, still emollient, still glides on really beautifully. I mean, look at that. It's, it's gorgeous. But I was concentrating on the Bobbi Brown one and this one right here, because this one will go dry probably in the next two months. So I have to push forward on this one and use this as much as possible so that at the next update, I can finish, I, I can be finished by this and just at least get it out of, out of this project. But I'm, I think I'm doing pretty good with this one. Not so great on this one. I think I could, I could, I could do better on this one. Moving on the, I think this is the final product I have left and it is the Urban Decay uh, Double Down Brow and this is the putty brow product so this dried out <laughs> this dried out and what i've decided to do is i use a um an eyebrow gel with a spoolie to just you know rub against it and then just put that in my brows i used this very few times from the last update because it dried out and i couldn't figure out how to make it work but now i did so Hopefully this will show some more progress in the next few months and and we'll see where it goes. I don't think I'm going to be able to use this up before this is no longer usable, but at least I would have gotten some use out of this. This was a really lovely product, but so long in my collection. Why? And finally, the last product I wanted to make progress on that I mentioned in my last update is Tretinoin. And all I wanted to do was be able to roll this down once, right? So I, that's one. And sorry, I have to help it. And that's two. I was able to roll it down twice. So I want to continue using it like that. I think that because now it's getting thicker towards the bottom, what I want to do is uh, keep the goal at using it 
uh, to a point where I can roll it down one more time and like fold it over one more time and then we'll see if that creates better habits in me because I'm still having trouble getting um, getting this into my regular habit. I, it's so hard because then my skin peels. Next, I'm gonna get into the stuff I'm rolling in and I'm going to try to get through this as quickly as possible because it's already a very long video. The first item I'm gonna bring in is actually skincare. It is this It Cosmetics Bye Bye Dullness 15% Vitamin C and Vitamin E. I already, I've been using this and the reason I wanna roll this in is because though I like the product, look at how disgusting the top is. So I can't lean it anymore. And I've used it enough for me to be at this point right here, but I keep forgetting to use it. So I wanna get this out of my collection because as good as this product is i think it's starting to turn a and b i literally cannot store it except for upright and that just does not work for me let's move on to some base products the first item i'm going to bring in because i just took out a foundation is this maybelline fit me uh matte and poreless in the shade 115 ivory this is a wee bit too dark for me right now but will work really well once i'm tanning and i have used this to a point where this is where i'm at so i just want to use this and complete it i think i can do that between now and the next uh, update so that is my goal just use this up between now and the next update because I will be tanning when I start using this the next one is also too deep for me it is this L'Oreal H perfect radiant serum foundation with sunscreen uh, in golden ivory this is way too dark I can't tell where this is at right now but at some point it was standing upright and I think I saw it somewhere about like the in the lower third of this little box right here so I don't know if I'll be able to use this up before the next update because the shade is deep for me it's pretty deep for me it's even deeper than the other one but once i start big tanning i think i can get through that so the goal is to at least get it to a point where it's actually you know what I'm just, i just want to use this up between now and september i want to use this up that's it that's the goal Let's go in with concealer and the concealer I want to use up actually is the one that I just bought. So it was in my Sephora haul and it is this tiny, tiny Kosas Revealer concealer in the shade 1.5C. So this shade does not work for me right now. This is definitely a brightening shade for when I'm tanning. That is why I bought it in such a tiny little package because this will be great for me during the summer, but it will not work for me once I lose my tan and stop tanning in like late fall. So between now and the end of fall, I want to use this up because a lot of Kosas products seem to be going bad very quickly because they are clean beauty, uh, whatever that means. So because of that and because so many people have complained about this i want to use this up because once i'm done with this because i do like how it feels i think i'm gonna buy the uh, a full size of the of a lighter shade than this so i want to get this out uh not because i don't like it but because i do and i know it's gonna go bad so that is the goal even though i literally just bought it like a week ago the next item i want to use up is technically a highlighter but i use it as an all-over face powder and it is this essence pure nude highlighter i love this as a finishing powder the problem is that the package broke just randomly broke and while i have already hit pan on it uh, you can't even tell well you can like this while i have already hit pan on it there's still a ton of product in here and this packaging is just getting on my nerves so i want to make sure that i use it and enjoy it it will work really well in the summer for me but i want to enjoy it and get it out of my collection so that i can buy a new one where the packaging actually still works since I took out a whole eyeshadow palette, I do want to bring in some eyeshadows to work on. And the first one I want to bring in is the Jouer Cream Eyeshadow Crayon. And this is in the shade Rose Gold. Here is a swatch of it right here. It's absolutely beautiful. But I have like a ton, I have used a ton of it, but I still have a ton more. Let me show you how much I have left. Like there's a whole lot of this left. Can you even compare? Yeah, I guess you can see it like that. Anyway, point is, I. It almost didn't go down point is i want to use it and the way i like to use it is by putting this on first and then putting um like a rose gold glittery shadow on top and i love using it like that and that's usually when i uh, also use the mark jacobs blue eyeliner <sighs> beautiful look want to use this i think i would like to use like half of this so actually no let's finish this whole thing let's finish this whole thing I will regret that, but let's finish it. I do also want to bring in some eyeshadow palettes, and two of the eyeshadow palettes that I want to bring in are these Pat McGrath 
Bridgerton Collection eyeshadow palettes. I've never used these. I got these uh, at TJ Maxx, I believe I found them. And so I've never used them. And so th this is the first one. This is the, I think the second Bridgerton. I don't remember. It doesn't matter. Point is, I've never used them. These look really beautiful. I literally am dying for these two shades. So I can't wait. The second one I want to bring in is this I think this is from the first Bridgerton collection and this is the blue one obviously and this is you know it actually looks very similar to the other one and <laughs> that's going to be fun uh, I'm really loving this shade right here so this is these are going to be two eyeshadow palettes I want to work on specifically during the summer I think these shades will be summer specific my goal with these palettes is to use them 10 times each another eyeshadow palette I want to bring in is this Natasha Denona retro glam palette I love this palette I I have a, a video coming out soon. Uh, I think it's my haul and my my whatever I bought in March and stuff like that where I'm wearing this and it is so stunning. It is such a stunning palette that I really, really want to get usage on it and enjoy it. And this is going to be, um, hmm, it looks very similar to the palettes I just showed you. So I'm also going to make this a 10 usage uh, palette. Yeah, this is also a 10 usage palette. And because those eyeshadows were apparently not enough, I'm also bringing in this ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in As You Wave. Oh, that is so beautiful. Uh, it is, oh, that's stunning. That is a stunner. Look how beautiful that is. That's so beautiful. So I actually want to use this also 10 times. Everything's 10 times because I think that's a an easy number to reach, but not so easy that you just just finish it in a week. So I'm going to bring that in. And the reason I want to bring it in is because there are two eyeliners that I would like to wear with them and these are it. So the first one is also Marc Jacobs highliner. I mean, I keep I keep doing this, but this is my last one, I promise. And this is in the shade Odyssey. Odyssey. So it fell out onto my floor and I'm no longer going to be using it because it's gone. It is gone. And that's how dried out it was so i'm really upset about that that's not going to be happening and i'm not picking it up and putting it in because no amount of sanitization is going to to get me comfortable with putting it close to my eyes so we're not doing that so the other eyeshadow so the other eyeliner i'm going to use with it is this urban decay 24 7 glide on eye pencil in the shade freak and i'm actually really upset about that eyeliner because i actually really like that shade is this one it is absolutely beautiful i think these two will look stunning together i've only used freak like one time just to make sure that it was working well so that i'm so upset anyway so i'm bringing that in uh because i don't have a black liner and apparently i also don't have that blue one anymore but because i don't have a black liner i'm going to be bringing in this il maquillage uh long wear eye pencil in batman that's cute and it's literally just a black matte eyeliner. It is still very smooth. I have used it um, just a little bit just to make sure that it was smooth. I've had this in my collection forever. Like this was sent to me years ago, I think, and I never opened it until recently. I just wanted to make sure that it was still working well. It is, so I want to finish it while it is still creamy and smooth. And it is that. It is definitely creamy and smooth. You can you can tell. I'm still upset about the Marc Jacobs eyeliner that just fell out. I'm I was. I was really excited about that one. So moving on, I also want to bring in this Urban Decay Brow Blade in, uh, what is the shade? Dark Drapes. And again, I don't like the ink stain side of it. Like, I just really don't like, you can't even see it. I just don't like that. I don't like the shade. I don't like how it works. I don't like how patchy it is. It's not for me. However, I have been using the pencil side and I don't have a lot left. That's literally all I have. Oopsies. That's all I have left. And so this shouldn't take very long. I think I'll be done with this probably in May, <laughs> but I do wanna bring it in because I keep forgetting to use these. And I wanna make sure that I use this one because I also have one more in my collection. And I just wanna rotate through these things before things dry out because I am so burned by things drying out already. I also wanna bring in the It Cosmetics Brow Power Pomade. This is actually what I use. It's got that little spoolie and why don't you? It's got the little spoolie. So this is what I use to uh, move around the putty uh, brow products from Urban Decay and then put that in my eyebrows. So while this is working, I'm gonna use it. It is nice and it does its job. 
Moving on to lip products. Yes, I'm bringing in more lip products. <laughs> Let's start with the lip liner, and it is the Jouer Long Wear Cream Lip Liner in the shade Pink Champagne Shimmer. So this is a really beautiful pink champagne -y color, I guess. It's, it's, it is definitely shimmery. I don't have a lot left. Actually, no, I have a ton left. I have a ton left. Whoa, that's a lot. Okay, that's a ton. Well, hopefully I can finish it. Moving on with the lip product. Uh, I have some lipsticks and some lip glosses I want to bring in. The first one is this. I believe this is Surat lipstick. What is this called? Uh, lip Sleek. Lip Sleek in rubis and this is a red lipstick i think you have to turn it like that i've used it like a single time just to make sure that it works and it is a sheerer version of the chanel lipstick so it's very pretty and i think i'm going to be able to use it up i can't show you how much i have left in this because it's one of those lipsticks where you cannot wind it down so you know in retrospect thinking about it that's probably good a good thing because it limits how much air exposure the lip product actually has because I've had this in my collection for a very long time and didn't use it recently I think it was in January use it like or maybe in December I used it like a single time just to make sure it was working it was great and now I want to finish it because I have been so burnt uh, and there really isn't a lot of product in here there's 0 0.05 ounces or 1.6 grams of product. So I should be able to use this over the course of the summer because I think this is a light enough and sheer enough uh, lipstick where I can use it in the summer, even if it is a red. Let's move on to the lip glosses. And the two lip glosses I want to work on and use this year are these Natasha Denona, I think these were called I Need a Rose lip glosses. As you can tell, <laughs> they look like they're turning and changing color. And I've realized what that is. That is air exposure. So when you pump the air in by like taking this out and putting it back in, air goes in, right? And then when you put it to the side or to the top or like lip, put it in one way or on the other, any air that's already trapped in touches the other parts. And I love these lip glosses. They're really beautiful. They are gorgeous in formula but I just do not want to keep them around past this year because I bought them around this time last year during the holiday save, not, I'm sorry, during the spring savings event at Sephora. And they started changing like that almost immediately. The smell is the same, the function is the same, nothing is wrong with it, but these are the shades. So the top one, I believe, which one is this? The top one is this one. So it's Daphne and the bottom one is Peony. So these are both beautiful and I want to use these up this this year because I don't think they're going to last until next year. I just don't want to keep looking at them. The next lip gloss I want to use up actually is one of my favorites and it's from Laura Geller. It is everything's worn off and it is in the shade sugar cane they don't make this anymore as far as i know and i have it uh, i've used it to this point right here so i'm like a little bit below the halfway point actually no maybe i'm at exactly the halfway point i just want to use this up because i do love it and they can't make it anymore i just love this shade they don't make it anymore and i want to make sure that i get my uh love affair in order with it and you know say goodbye before it goes bad too because i'm so i'm so burnt by things going bad that i just want to make sure that nothing else goes bad on me the last lip product yes the last the last lip product i want to use up is this it cosmetics je ne sais quoi rose lip balm i i've used quite a bit quite a big chunk of it i think i use about a third of it at this point this is where it's standing it's right under the s of je ne sais quoi yeah, je ne sais quoi. Uh, it's right under the set. And um, it's fine. It's fine and I want to use it and I'm excited to use it up completely. It's a lip balm. I could use this. And the last two products are hair products. And I've had them for a long time and I want to see if I like them at all. The first one is the Caviar Anti-Aging Sheer Dry Shampoo Powder Spray. The product, problem is I, I, I think there's a good chunk of it in here. I don't know how much. But this is one of those mechanized uh, systems, not like an aerosol. And I want to see if I like that. Every time I've used it, I didn't love that system. Let me show you. Oh, does this come off? Yes, it does. I have a ton. I have a ton left, so that's fine. 
this will last me the whole summer. So I, I, every time I've used this, I didn't love it very much because it just, it doesn't spray all over. It sprays in like one or two areas, but that might not be a bad thing. So I just want to use this up. I don't remember how much this costs, but I've had it for years, years. And the last product I want to use up is also from Caviar and it is this uh, smoothing hydro gelée uh, nourishing hair perfecter. I don't even, I've never used this, so I don't know what it actually does aside from what it says at the, on the back. And it says that this lightweight surge of hydration conditions the hair, smoothing unwanted frizz and providing light definition with high shine. Okay. I'm having some dry hair issues, so this will be nice to use. I'll try it at my, after my next wash. Um, so we'll see how this goes. I'm excited to try it. And that's it. That's that's it. I've brought in quite a lot of stuff. I already had a lot of stuff in, but I've also been using quite a lot of stuff, a lot more than I would have otherwise. So it's why I like to keep bringing products in because it allows me to concentrate on those products and put in an actual concerted effort. This is why this is the only project pan I'm doing this year. I'm just bringing stuff in, seeing how it works, seeing if I like it, working with them as best I can. Thank you so much for joining me. I know this was a very long video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in two months. Bye.